Hello, that's me. I'm Corvame, uh, and I'm here to run Cassette Beast, and I'm joined by three lovely commentators who will now introduce themselves from right to left. From our right to left? I was going to ask the <laughs> <laughs> I'm Akko. I'm Frozen Blackon. I'm Epic Yoshi Master. Uh, so I, there we have, we'll have some time to get into it once the game starts. So I think I'm ready to go if everybody else is ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, then in three, wait, that's not the timing screen, the start screen. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need that name instead of, wow, I really jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that naming incentive. The suspense. The suspense. We oh, have the for the character name for Cassette Beast, Yukirin, Y-U-K-I-R-I-N. Like that? That is it. All right, then nice. in three, two, one, go. You really just wanted to uh, bait the stream tech on that one. <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. Um, shout outs to all the lovely volunteers who are all doing a great job. Uh, so this is Cassette Beasts. It is a like Pokemon slash Persona monster catching game that came out this year uh, by Bitten Studios. It's very good. It's one of my favorite games of the last year. Um, and we're going to beat it <laughs> really fast. Really fast. Watching this run, like from when May started running it to now, it has just gotten more and more yes. absurd. It's really, it's a really engaging round. So, um, I don't know. What do we want to explain about this game first? There's a lot of mechanics that are different. Do you want to explain than... why you just became a monster? Uh, sometimes it happens, you know. <laughs> okay. I think the first thing to right. note is that um, with patches, the routing changes a lot with this because we are running a Ooh, seated category. Good call. We should talk about that. Yeah, that menu I started on is actually built into the game. She's Kaylee. She's Kaylee. Once you beat the game, you unlock uh, modes, which is like, there's like built-in randomization and stuff for this game. And one of the modes is to set your RNG seed. So this is any percent seeded. We are using a specific seed that we found by using a tool that I wrote um, to just like brute force seeds till we find one that has all the things we need. And uh, by doing that, we are able to make a lot of the game consistent in terms of, and, and enable some uh, cool strat that we're able to do to get like very quick boss uh, kills. Um, not everything is con is seeded though, which we will uh, explain when like, we get to it. We have to talk to that chat, uh, the, the dresser or it won't let us out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to change anything. We actually used to change clothes because we didn't realize you didn't have to actually change anything. You just have to open it. That's great. Um, you got a donation. Hey. Whoa. Absolutely. We have a $50 donation here from Sibylla Scribbles, who says, Cassette Beast's hype. <laughs> so excited to see this at AGDQ this year. You know, there's often donation chains of people donating to their favorite Pokemon's dex number. How about we get shout outs for people's favorite Cassette Beasts? Here's True. $50 for my personal favorite, Robindom. Good Ooh. luck on the Heck run. Yeah. I got Banshee right here. That's my favorite. My favorite is Adeptile, <laughs> which was added That's... in uh, the first post-game content patch. Is that one, two, three? So this, you notice how we crit there? That's consistent. This is actually a static encounter, um, which means that it is the RNG for the entire fight is based on yeah. the seed that we're using. Um, <laughs> there will be some fights where that is not the case, Hi. as I mentioned before. Um, <laughs> I like all I do when I run this game is I just say all the voice just lines. Just make all the sounds like effects. really it's consistent, so and they're really good. The sound and music in this game is fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna grab some healing items from this guy. We don't actually. This is just for safety. Uh, the way healing items work in this game is also different mm -hmm. than uh, like a Pokemon where you just have because instead of so a rewind always heals you to full, but you can only carry a certain number of them. Is it, uh, is it five? It starts at five and it increases based on uh, an upgrade you can get. Right. We gotta fight a moth. Okay. Oh, this is, okay. We're essentially going through the tutorial of the game right now. This fight is actually not seated, so we can save time here if I do not get a double proc on spit here. Oh, we should explain that. So every tape has stickers, uh, which is essentially moves. You can take stickers off a tape and you can move it onto a different tape. Um, and. Uh, t uh, stickers have a chance to be uncommon or rare, which gives them additional effects. So the RNG seed for this, when we start the game, all of our par uh, possible partners, their uh, beasts have... I did not get the skip. Um, th their monsters have a chance of... Uh, they get generated when the file is created. And so 
in order, by doing that, we're able to uh, ensure that we get a sticker that has an 80% chance to follow up whenever we use spit with using spit again. Uh, and that's important because it's the only way to apply, apply two stacks of a certain debuff that was very important for this run uh, in, a, in a single attack. Uh, I need to unequip that. Yeah, and this game's also really interesting in that with in terms of like getting new uh, monsters. You saw we record them. Yes. And the mechanic of that is really interesting because you take a turn Sorry. to record them and the chance of recording them goes up or down based on if they deal damage to you or you do damage to it. So, and then it's get, it gets added to our party and then you still have to defeat it. So it's a it's a little bit different. Yes, uh, because the original one still exists when you make a recording. Yeah. Uh, so you can actually skip this huh? cutscene right here. Um, but if I were to miss it, I would lose like a minute, mm. and it saves like four seconds, or <laughs> not even, it saves like two seconds. Yeah, this is not worth Oh, that guy's not important. Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so there are three main plot lines what? in this game. There is uh, the one we're going to be doing, which is the main any percent plot line, because when you finish it, huh? the credits play. Uh, and that is about beating bosses. There is a like gym challenge style plot line where you fight 12 uh, ranger captains. And there is a Team Rocket style plot line where you uh, beat up landlords. Yep. <laughs> We're doing the first one because, again, that gives us the credits. It is also, there, there are people have run the other two. All Captains is actually a super fun run. Uh, it is also really, really pr precise. Mm -hmm. It is very easy to like uh, lose your All Captains run. Um, I did it actually for um, PAX West a while ago. It was a fun, it was a fun time. Uh, this is Morgante. She's the spirit of rebellion. This is the first archangel fight. Who wants to explain all the archangel mechanics, including this fight? Oh boy. <laughs> um, I don't. All right. So archangels, they're like boss <laughs> fights. You notice that they have um, so moves in this game cost AP, uh, which is the pips in the top left. Yeah. But arch archangels also use AP. Uh, I would like to flee, please. Uh, also use AP. Um, when they get to ten, they will use their like big ultimate attack. Uh, our goal for this fight is to defeat Morgante before that turn. Uh, the reason that May is selecting Flea here is because it doesn't play an attack animation, which saves us a little time in uh, cycling to the next turn. Yes. And we basically have a minimum number of turns required to do she this She has 19 fight. health, and after, now that we've fused, that's a mechanic in this game, it's very f cool. You can fuse any two uh, monsters in the game. And you can see our AP bar has gone up. We get four AP instead of just two every yep. turn. And it's, it's really this, cool. This fight and is music scripted, though. So yeah. every <laughs> single attack we do before the fuse does one damage. Every single attack we do after does uh, five damage. And we need to do 19 damage total. And so this is the most efficient way to do that. Yeah. Um, it's really you also fun going through the games and seeing all different fusions. And yes. We'll get to see a bunch there, of them. There are some very, very good ones. Uh, you'll also notice that um, I keep uh, using Sonic Boom. The reason for that is not for the damage. It is actually because the animation is faster. Spit is a pretty slow animation. Yep. The rest um, of the song is too quiet to make out. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. So that's the main quest here. We have to uh, defeat four other archangels, of which there are eight or nine. I forget, because I always just do four. <laughs> Um, and then that will unlock a cutscene, which allows us to get to the mirror, which lets us get to the area where the final boss is. The mirror is actually, uh, I need to do a menu, hold on. The mirror is actually a random location, and a, there's a random ritual that you need to do to uh, reveal it in every single save file. So part of when we're um, generating seeds to figure out what, uh, what works uh, for the run, we have to also keep that in mind too. There are seeds that look super promising, and then it's like, and then you go all the way to the corner of the farthest corner of the Eugene. map. That's Eugene. I like Eugene. Um, farthest corner of the map, and then you have to d do an annoying thing, and we're like, well, that seed's not going to work. That's why I did. <laughs> Uh, and so the as you defeat Archangels, you get more pieces of the song, which gives you hints into where to go in order to, uh, and what to do in order to beat the game. It's cool. Mm -hmm. um, there is a possible skip that will almost certainly not, there's no way it's going to happen. <laughs> Essentially, um, <laughs> this is really hard to figure out. This cutscene trigger is on this chunk, and we're on the chunk beneath it. And the way that chunks load in is they don't load the next chunk. You get a certain distance into the top, the, the the adjacent chunk. And so this cutscene trigger ap applies really late and is somewhat dependent on load times. And so as a result, if you hit a um, if you hit an encounter when it's loading in, 
you can skip that cutscene, but it pretty much depends on where the encounters choose to spawn. We're also about to do, for the first time, we are going to use a rock to mess up our hitbox. So we can't jump up there, but if we hold a rock, we can. <laughs> what, you haven't heard of rock climbing before? Um, this is the trainer. I don't want to fight them. I that love actually, jumping over their heads. I know. It's it's, so I, good. I like that it's intended. You get an achievement for it. It's so great. It's not, like, difficult to do either. It's just like, okay, I don't feel like fighting them. I'm just going to jump over here. Ah. So yeah, we can like kind of mantle nice. up ledges by holding rock, uh, things over our head. Each one has diff slightly different properties. The small rock is really good. The crate is really good. The barrel is pretty good, is okay. <laughs> and then the the large rock is kind of mid. Um, and we use that to, yeah, essentially uh, add, add mantling to the game. I don't really know why it works. Akko has a theory. Yeah, my, my theory is that what's happening is that the rocks, like the bottom of the rocks hitbox is hitting the top of the hitbox of the, of the floor or however it works. And that is being counted as the bottom of your player hitbox somehow. And so you're allowed to get a jump off of that. But that's fully just a guess. I don't know how the game is coded. So there is a chance here that things go very badly. Yeah, so this is our This is fine. Our first, we just need like, one bulletino. Encounter, right? Uh, yeah, so this is fully random. All the uh, overworld encounters are random. And in fact, um, there's a lot of things that because overworld encounters are random, we cannot be as reliable about RNG. Like, we don't know what we're going to get, like what stickers we're going to get when we uh, rank up our tapes because RNG is progressed by generating stickers for overworld encounters. Uh, the reason why we, we go out our way to get this uh, is because the way that you get, um, we didn't have actually mentioned this before. Yeah, the overworld abilities. Yeah, you get overworld abilities or like your HM equivalents by uh, getting, ca capturing specific uh, beasts. And so they're monsters, they're not beasts. <laughs> uh, somebody explain that while I do a menu. Yeah, in, in game, they are called monsters, um, even though they're uh, cassette beasts. So anyway, Bulletino gives us this dash ability, which we're going to exploit throughout the game. And it's really fast. It is, yeah, it is <laughs> our main way of going fast and of enabling us to do skips. Yeah, like you can see, we're going so much farther now. Uh, we don't have to worry about our stamina as much. Um, but yeah, the, the game is really good about kind of suggesting which monsters to catch to give you overworld abilities. There's like a nice. yeah, there's like a rumor system that will like if you're not uh, if you're having trouble, like it, it'll it'll lead you towards things to do that will uh, help you progress the game. Or you can just message me, or I'll just be like, well, how do I get this? Yeah. Well, how do I get this? And just like just catch the thing that's right there. Court, yes, you know? court glass memo is important. <laughs> um, so glass memo ah. is a sticker that we just picked up that allows us to immediately apply uh, three layers of glass coating to ourselves. And what glass coating does is it changes your type to glass. Now, Felix, we met him earlier. He's important here because we get to steal his monster. Brush Did I say no to him? Did you say no? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Hear me out here. No. <laughs> I'm going to take the time. I've actually. never said no to him. So Felix has brush room, which has the uh, sticker paint swipe which we can use to apply our type to someone else. Yep. So now that we have glass camo, we immediately apply uh, glass coating to ourselves, and then we can apply that to someone else. Now, the reason why that's important is because the typing system here isn't just a, a vanilla, like, oh, you deal extra damage. You do have that, but it's only about 30%. Is that right? First, yeah, I got to nice. first nice try. Job. <laughs> nice job. Um, and I've so, been getting a lot of second tries. Um, the important thing about that is that uh, air to glass gives you a stack of resonance. And when you hit three stacks of resonance, you then Do an instantly, of you <laughs> instantly, instantly kills them. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So you're seeing that right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'll see. And uh, we also uh, got two very important stickers. One is called Custom Starter. It uh, makes sure that the... No, I did not want a glass camo again. I have now messed up all my RNG. Oh, no. It should be fine. <laughs> um... What was I saying? <laughs> is, it, is it per fight? <laughs> it is per fight. Yeah, sorry. I messed up the RNG. You were talking time. about the custom starters, right? So custom starter, the you, so there are, there are passive stickers too. Yeah. Um, custom starter, well, I think this is okay. Uh, custom starter allows you to select a move to, to uh, be used at the start of the fight. Uh, it doesn't count as your first turn. It just happens at the start of the fight. So um, paint swipe happening as a custom starter gets the uh, glass coating uh, 
applied to the enemy immediately before your first attack. Yep. It's a really cool setup. Resonance is something that casually you're not going to be able to, you don't We're really good. abuse it like that. Uh, but in the speed run, it's critical to our entire strategy. Uh, don't forget, there's something that you There's a thing I have to do here. here. I'm also going to just use those safety heals I grabbed because I did that very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out, but. It did work out. So we need to do that to get the skeleton gelatin or skelly jelly as I like to call it. Uh, we need to do some more menu. Way. What am I? Ah, Is this a good time way? for a donation? Yes, please do. Yes, and while you're in the menu, be sure to let me know when you need the names for that sirenade and brush room. Oh, but now. <laughs> you're right. so good. I'm my bad. Honestly, Great. this is the perfect timing for that. Perfect timing. For our brush room uh, in uh, Bid War, we have the nickname Melanie Pepon. Capital M E L O N Y. Capital P E P O N. Thank you so much to everyone who donated. And for the Sirenade, with a last minute comeback, we have the nickname Swiftaloo. Let's Swift go! Let's go! <laughs> we also have an incredible thousand dollar donation oh wow. from Bitten Studio. Oh! oh. Who <laughs> says, go Corvame, we're cheering for you. We're longtime fans of GDQ at Bitten Studio. Seeing our little game being speedrun in aid of Prevent Cancer Foundation brings a tear to Traffic Crab's one big red eye. <laughs> and remember, the Serpent God awaits us, baby! Yes! <laughs> Thank you so, Thank much. You so Thank much. much. Yeah, Traffic Crab's my favorite too, so. Um, Bitten has actually been extremely supportive of the speedrun community. Like, uh, I've been able to just like talk to the devs about like... May, hey, may will never hey, be how, bowling. How does this work? <laughs> That's it, okay. <laughs> you're not, you're not going <laughs> um, So yes, uh, big shout outs to them, they're great. Yeah. Uh, this, game is this game is great. You should play it. You should play this game. I Sorry, agree. I needed to get that in because May, as you May can is see, ball is balling. <laughs> uh, by catching Jumpkin, we get the ability Vine Ball that we can use as a overworld, as an overworld movement ability. move. And it is huge. It allows us to do some silly stuff we're going to see later. Yeah, Vine Ball and Dash pretty much enable us to do everything that we used to do. There actually is one, there is another ability, Magnetism, that we used to do a very funny trick with that we've since rooted out because it, um... Because it's funny. What? <laughs> Why is it funny? No, because, because it's, uh, because the trick is whack, right? They routed it out because it's, it's slow. It's slower. It's just slower? <laughs> yes. It's a speed I, run. I thought... <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, I screwed this up. Okay, this is fixable. It just really sucks to fix. I gotta, like, hop on this. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. This... Come on. I Save you. me, box. We're good. Let's go. <laughs> the, no, don't clap for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a screw up. <laughs> You're supposed to just vault across and not fall down there at all. Hey, no one would know. You could have been like, that's the strat. <laughs> uh, it wasn't. <laughs> I would know. Uh, so this we're going to do this, uh, the first of three um, cutscene trigger skips here. First, we're going to uh, do some menuing. Uh, who wants to explain how that works? Sure. What am I doing? Um, so when we hit a cutscene trigger, um, the frame that we hit it, I believe, or it's a volume load. Uh, um, when you hit that trigger, if you go into the Morgante song cutscene, uh, it basically fails the load or it cancels the load. And so we can kind of just move out of bounds behind the loading trigger. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a save here because if I miss this, I have to save and quit. And we're gonna try to pause buffer. And this is, e this is much easier on 30 FPS which is why may just change that in the settings, and then we're just going to change it back. That might have been too far, we'll see. I think that should be fine, yeah, but I... We'll see. My eyes say it's fine. Hey! Sweet job! Ooh, I, was, I have been stressed out about that for weeks. Yeah! Well, <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. You I'll, can fall from behind there, which we saw during practice, uh, but it, it, it's yes. all good. You can um, cover it. So I'll set it back to 60 FPS here, and that loses a little bit of time, just because I like playing the game at a higher frame rate. Yeah, we're going to do that three times during this run. I don't know why that giant cursor showed up. <laughs> uh, oh, it's probably because I moved the mouse or something. So yeah, this is uh, we're going to fight four of these archangels. This is the first one. We essentially spent the entire time up to now um, finding stuff that we need. And now we're going to spend time fighting stuff that we need to That we need to, to fight. <laughs> yeah. You're never going to guess what strategy we use for this fight. 
It never got so fair to we use for <laughs> every fight. There have been a couple different iterations um, in earlier patches of different fights that we've used. Uh, and um, it turns out the resonance is just so good because, I mean, these are very tanky fights. And uh, beating things in two turns is yeah. just it's one to two turns is just absurdly fast no, mm -hmm. no matter what. So Statuses in general are very strong in this game. They are. I mean, the whole game is built around it, so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, did we talk about that? What statuses and statuses different? and how every single type effectiveness is not. It's like we talked yeah, a little we, we, bit we about it, type yeah. interactions, yeah, so it, but not. not it's that only I think though. thirty percent stronger to use a super effective move, but you'll uh, get, you'll uh, afflict uh, a negative type, uh, status effect. Yeah. Uh, I need to brush room is what. Yeah, I there's ones do. where it's like AP drain. They don't get as much AP. There's like there's a ton of different status effects and keeping track of them is like a really fun part of this this game. Is Sometimes learning it how the puts interactions work. up a wall in front of your opponent. Uh, you can poison your opponent. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of There's them. There's so much. It's awesome. I'm sorry about the cursor. I'm trying to fix <laughs> Ah, mouse. I mean, you, you need it, don't you? No, I only need it to menu to do those menus. It does it does disappear on its own if, if you don't. Does it? it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um, we got another rock here. Whoa. I'm going to wait. We got, we got a spinner. We got a spinner. <laughs> that was scary. So uh, this whole... Th we used to do this entire dungeon. And this dungeon takes a while. It's like a required fight. Mm. Now we just do this. This is ridiculous. I could not believe this one. <laughs> I, me too. I was like, Dude, there's no way we could have always mm. done this. What the heck? That's incredible. I love it. <laughs> So um, we talked about some of the setup, but it's worth talking about the the rest briefly, which is that we also have mm. a random starter on Sirenade, correct? Yeah, which and actually just kind of worked out because the seed happened to have one and it enabled a bunch of strats, mm -hmm. as far as I understand it. And essentially, what it is is that with our random starter, we get to uh, we get to use spit, and that procs a second spit, and then for our turn, we get to use spit, and then we can put all three stacks on resonance uh, in one turn. And obviously this doesn't happen in every fight. Yep. It's just ones where you get the good RNG for um, for the spits to happen. Correct. But um, Because this, it's that seed, we know. Yeah. And people do run this game unseeded. Um, and uh, it's and the, the timing for unseeded is actually... What, uh, 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 the timing for unseeded is actually like pretty close. It's just obviously you can't get it to... I mean, you theoretically could get it to be as absurdly fast as this, but it's not realistic yeah. because the, the starter sticker is really important. That was a puzzle boss, by the way, um, which uh, he, he will switch around every turn, and if you hit one of the, uh, the effigies, you take damage back, which makes that fight um, a lot harder to... It's probably the hardest fight to get the right RNG on hmm. because of that. Speaking of RNG, did you want to talk briefly about uh, your seed finding? No, I would like the donations to be read by to a menu. <laughs> sure. Sounds like a plan. That a Dex donation for Cassette Beasts are coming in strong. We have $27 here from Pokemon Master who says, heard a call for Dex donations. Here's $27 for Blossomaw. I swapped those, right? <laughs> um, I think I did. I trust you. We trust you. I'm sure it's fine. Probably good for another donation. Yes. I Great. We also have $50 from Spider C, who simply says, The Serpent God awaits <laughs> us, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Spider. I got, I got bad news about that cutscene, by the way. Hopefully, no, 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 we'll no, get no, to maybe. see it. No, 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 don't, no, no. Don't say it. Hey, don't that's say Barkley. It. <gasps> We're getting them later. Hi, Barkley. Thank you so much, by the way, for donating to that incentive. I swear this one I did not forget. <laughs> we just don't. We will recruit him after or before the final boss. Uh, so. You're just, like, supposed to go not do this this way. Hey, you didn't get the item this time. <laughs> yeah, I kept, picking up the, I kept picking up the item in practice runs because I just see a chest and I want to open it. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I've been owned. No. Uh, more donations, please. Absolutely. It's not getting owned. It's just an opportunity for everyone to continue getting those incredible donations in. We have $20 here from Tippy, who says, I'll hop on the favorite beast dononation train with a personal favorite, Woltergeist. Good luck on the run, May. Good job. Yes, Thank Woltergeist you. is my favorite. And yeah, the, the good thing about random encounters in this game is, as we mentioned before, each, uh, each fight 
the RNG is, or each static RNG fight, the RNG is static regardless of what encounters you've had before. So we don't like lose them because yeah. we hit a random encounter. It's just annoying and is, is a little bit of time loss, but it's not like, all right, cool, reset. If it was, that would make this running this a lot more challenging oh. and frustrating. So the, uh, the this one doesn't have a dungeon. The challenge is just to get here, which is why we do it in every single route. I'm just going to do a save just in case I messed up that menu. I'm not actually, I'm a little worried. <laughs> Um, and then in this fight, we're going to do the same thing we always do. We're going to apply resident snack, resident snacks, yum yum. Mm. Uh, resident stacks. Uh, this is actually the last two or the the last two archangels we're going to fight here are actually two two or one turn fights. Uh, the RNG just happens to work out that way. But if you have a couple more donations, absolutely, we have. $35 here from T Power, who says, really enjoyed playing Cassette Beast two player. Looking forward to the run. We also have $50 from Pastel Punk, who says, if Cassette Beast made a typing game or a crossword game, it would <laughs> truly be a Corvame game. That's true. Love you and your community. I considered making my donation hashtag like 25 across or something. Then decided <laughs> to it. That's cute. Time for one more? Uh, yeah. We have $10 here from Captured Bird, who says, it's important to support oh. charity with your fellow birds. <laughs> really? That's true. All right, so we're going to go. So um, we have essentially, all right, I'm just going to ignore the cursor. It's, it's, it's not there. It's not there. Uh, so Kaylee's either. quest, um, Kaylee's whole storyline, uh, it has like requirements to get to. Um, and th those requirements are you need to reach level 15, and you also need to uh, fight a cultist. However, we recently found, and very recently, like a couple months ago, that instead, we can just do the same thing we did before. Not at an angle. <laughs> I did not want to do it at a weird, messed up angle. <laughs> <sighs> Come on. <sighs> I'm like fa you are not hearing welcome. the sigh I'm not welcome time here. is like <laughs> so mean. Oh. There we go. Nice. Um, and that lets us enter without having to do any of Kaylee's requirements. Additionally, because Kaylee is not with us, there are certain parts of the, the story cutscenes that just don't, don't play. So not only do we not is it faster because we don't have to um actually do the requirement like the prerequisites to get here it's also faster because we just get to we don't have to just, hear Kaylee talk here. yeah it's kind of funny. I did not I failed to skip the cutscene we get to listen to let's it let's go <laughs> you get one chance to skip it but it does mean so excited wait <laughs> the serpent <laughs> god awaits <laughs> us baby <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, oh, you, no. could, you could skip this entire cutscene by and doing Kaylee, the same thing Kaylee again. just sweeps in and says, oh, no, and leaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kaylee, Kaylee's totally here. <laughs> um, but I intentionally failed that skip so oh. that, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me set this back to 60. Um, uh, things are going to work out good for Dorian. You can read some donations while that happens. I need to go this way. Well, I'm so glad things are going to work out good. We have $10 here from Allerlay who says, enabling harder modes for speedruns is always great. So I hope to see this cool run of 30XX. And that's an amazing reminder that we have an open incentive right now for entropy conditions in the 30XX run coming later today. This incentive is met. That is 15 points of increased difficulty to the 30XX run, including nine different types of additional challenge. So if you like hard mode and speed runs as well, be sure to get those donations in towards the 30XX run. Additionally, we also have a $10 donation here from Sly Dante who says, wait, wait, how do we have an incentive called pet the RoboCat and not have immediately met it? Come on, people. Put this towards the RoboCat and Entropy conditions for the 30XX run, and good luck to Corvame with the awesomeness that is Cassette Beasts. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So yeah, uh, we've uh, we've done them all. Yeah. That's our that's, fourth Archangel. That's the fourth, uh, that's the, the fourth Archangel, yeah. You said Arkin, it really threw me off. What? Arkin? Fourth Arkin. <laughs> fourth Arkin. I wish I had four Arkins. Uh, 
but we need to find Barkley now, right? Uh, no, we got to do some other Not stuff. Yet. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, right. Uh, so normally there's a cutscene that plays there. Uh, we don't want to do that. Also, um, we have to get back to the town, the center of the town. So we'll just want wrong warp there. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that um, that station doesn't have anything behind it, but the station uh, prefab, I believe, has a like a warp. Uh, like the station prefab can warp places, but that one doesn't have anything set, and so it just warps to zero zero, which happens to be that that chunk happens to be exactly where we need to go. So it's incredibly convenient. It is incredibly convenient. I believe that's what's going on there. We're not supposed to be able to hit it, but uh, Vineball messed with our hitbox a little bit. Um, a slight warning, photosensitivity warning for the yes. background in a little bit. Good call, good call. Uh, this is a whole segment where we learn a bunch of uh, lore, and it also gives us, once we've done this, we're able to unlock the mirror. We could actually go to the mirror without doing this, but we would not be able to use it. Um, so that's why we need to get four Archangels. And while this uh, cutscene plays out, you got a bunch of donation time. Absolutely delighted to hear it. We have the Dex donation train continuing full steam ahead. We have $19 here from Kat, who says, haven't played Cassette Beast, but scrolling through the wiki, I found Bansheep, and it looks really cute. So I'll go with that. It is really cute. I always support decisions based on cuteness first. We also have $50 here from Aster who says, loving the cassette beast run. Shout out to Woltergeist, the best beast. Banshee, I feel like is definitely the more popular of the starters. I, I picked Banshee. I love I, I like Can Devil, but I but like I like yeah, I like both of the starters a lot, but Banshee and Woltergeist are incredible. <laughs> I almost ran out of energy there, but I did it perfectly. Wow. Shout wow. out to Miss Amber. True. Shout outs to new Amber. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. We did mention the music in this game is really great. It's I, so good. I did want to mention, because we don't really get to hear it too much when in the run, is that the fused music, the fused music. The fusion, no. yeah. The fusion music, okay. The fusion music <laughs> has lyrics what? in it. Uh, it's like similar to the the battle music that is playing before you fuse, and then it adds lyrics and it adds a couple extra layers. It's really great, and you should go and check out all the music. It's lovely. I believe there's uh, a pro. I need to buy three of these, please. We need some coffee. It's early. I believe there's a prize to get like the record on, or like the soundtrack on vinyl. Oh. Which is super sick. Yeah. Don't we also have some pom poms? There are a bunch of pom pom key. I didn't even know there were pom pom keychains. They're so cute. We got to scale the prizes early. And so speaking cool. of pom pom. <gasps> I'm going to run out of energy. <laughs> no, that's not You were so fun. excited to see Barkley. It is time. <laughs> Yay! So Go. yeah, normally we do not recruit Barkley as um, his quest doesn't really give us any progress. But sometimes it's not about what gives you progress. It's about doing what's right. <laughs> so he gives you a bootleg pom bomb, which a bootleg is essentially a shiny, um, except it is a different type. So I believe it's bootleg ice, or is it is it random? It's bootleg ice. Bootleg ice, yeah. Um, also, the incentive specifically was not just go talk to Barkley; it was to recruit Barkley. So we have to do Barkley's quest, which is actually the shortest one. Um, we have to defeat Ava Revoir, my favorite. Uh, beyond, yeah, we get to see this incredible beast. This one. It's so good. I used to like the entire game. This is one of the legendaries, I guess. Um, and. Uh, so I mm, hold on. <laughs> I, I need to. I need to. What's use, the setup here, Mary? <laughs> hold on. So obviously we have Barkley in the fight. This is fine. So. I can fix this. <laughs> I forgot to switch to. Uh, yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, Barkley. Ignore Barkley's whole thing is about finding uh, his owner. Please ignore the pile of bones. Not important. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do not let me forget to swap this on after this fight. Uh, oh yeah, this takes two turns anyways, because um, all, even if we were to get the turn one kill here, because it's a, uh, um, what is the term? Because it is a uh, companion quest, we have the first companion like boss fight, you have to do a fusion. You have to do a fusion. So it would take okay. two turns regardless. <laughs> And now we're friends with Barkley. Yay! Thank you very much for donating for that. And we're still going to use him for the end, don't worry. We could, like, we could take Kaylee with us, but come on. Nah, we got Barkley. And actually, I was like, we had to have to figure out that um, uh, it wouldn't mess up the RNG yeah. <laughs> to do that. 
All right, so now we are on our way to the last area of the game. We're getting near the end here. I need to be a little careful here as to not... Um, so that there's a landkeeper office down there. There's a you see there's a guy you can kind of see him from there. He can see you from all the way down here. I do not know the why they gave him so much The line of sight of some of of these the, the characters is unreal. <laughs> oh look, it's the mirror. Hey, look, it's the mirror. How did I know where it was? I think you've played this game before, me. You got lucky. No, this is my this is I, yeah. So this is like a whole dungeon. You're supposed to go to the two, uh, the two different sides and um, do this whole thing where you get like a key and you put the key in the swords and then that opens up the gate and stuff. But I'm uh, sure you're seeing the pattern already. It has already. some pretty sick movement that we can do. But you know what else we can do? We're balling. We're balling. We're balling. I, I keep hitting that. <laughs> All right. And this will be the final boss sequence, but that sounds like we're, it's going to be done before you know it. And, it. and it will, but there are three phases to this. So um, so all of our friends come along with. That is, even though we recruited Felix, we did not actually become friends with Felix because we didn't do his incredibly long quest. Felix's quest is very good, though. Um, and so it's actually, we have to, like, when we add the Barkley incentive, we have to make sure that it doesn't screw up all the RNG because, like, yeah. Kaylee will just be in the back helping. She's here. <laughs> uh, so Aleph's whole thing is that he will change his type every turn. Uh, and the RNG for this seed is actually extremely funny <laughs> because um, it just works out perfectly for what we need to do. Mm -hmm. So you'll see... Did I... I think we're okay. That seems fine. Yeah, so he prismatics himself back to glass. Come on, man. He's just trying to help out. <laughs> and that means, so in, in a lot of other raids, we have to use taunt, which prevents you from using status moves, and prismatic is considered a status move. But uh, fortunately, we don't have to care about that because he sets himself to glass in the seat. It's so So funny. good. So um, he's going to he's gonna take the train. Shout out to public transit. <laughs> And we're gonna go into the, the this world, the 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 bit rate zone. <laughs> the bit rate zone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a cool thing about this fight is that the form of a left null that you fight, like that design, depends on which archangels you battled. Right. Because we've only done the four that we've we talked done the about, four. and so we're always gonna see this form, of course. But it'll be different. Also, this song it. is incredibly good. Oh, it's so, so good. good. <laughs> if you, it is called Arrow of Time. If you want to look it up on the internet, or we can just listen to it during the run right now. Um, this fight is uh, scripted, and so pay, please pay attention to a left, the left null's health bar in the top right. And we beat him. Yeah. No. <laughs> so yeah, there are two phases to this fight, and so uh, in the second phase occurs when you reach 50% health, and uh, we so it heals him. No more cassettes. Unfortunately, that's all of Air of Time that we get to listen to. So tragic. It's so good. Wait, why are you still Can Devil? Or what? wait, why is Kaylee still? Because I gave Can Devil to Kaylee. But but I what needed about Siren the, Aid for but, the run. What, what about no more cassettes? Typical. Oh wait, I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> wait, why? Why? Is it, why, why is she still wait. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> does, it, does it always do that? I oh, I didn't notice that in practice. I I don't know. Uh, so because we have the spirit of rebellion with us, only the spirit of rebellion can overcome the spirit of conquest. Right. Uh, power of friendship, et cetera. Et power of friendship, mm -hmm. et cetera, and so on and so forth. Um, we're going to drink a bunch of coffee to defeat God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, typical JRPG final battle. Uh, we want, yeah, we want, <laughs> we want to get up to uh, 10 AP uh, to use Corto Morgana, which will one-shot him. Yep. And so the fast way to do that is to drink coffee. And unfortunately, we don't have the better, That's more efficient how I get coffees because that requires getting upgrades. Honestly, in real life? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, right after this. <laughs> there are actually some seeds where you'll get confused and then lose a turn on that seed because we're confused makes you use a random move, so you just won't use Corda Morgana. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. Thanks for the five. <laughs> I love that he five hits you on this. <laughs> then we get berserked, and it's like, come on. You're going to see, you just got to see all the status moves stack up. I see. I see. All right. And uh, time will be coming up. 
Um, there'll be a cutscene, and then I'm going to talk to New Amber to go home. This is why I call this the bad ending. We leave all our friends behind to get un Um And then uh, that'll be the end of the run. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching and for donating. Thank you to my commentators for being here. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple people in the cassette piece community who were like very uh, instrumental in making this run happen. Uh, shout outs to uh, Rorman, Laricide, and Garfield the Lightning. All three of them were like super involved in rooting from uh, for forever. Uh, Roar in particular worked super close. I worked super closely in figuring out all the RNG in this up. game and time. Uh, you should play this game. It's very very good. You all want, you all have anything you'd like to say? Thanks uh, for, for having us. Yeah. This was a great run. I'm so glad that you got to do a run on the stage because you're an amazing speedrunner. Thank you. Thanks to Bitten Studios. And hello to everyone who's who's watching. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think um, I'm not, I don't have a lot else to say. The Serpent God awaits us. Free Palestine.